Today's math lesson is a game. It's called Race to Zero. To play this game, you're going to need a couple of things first. One is a game board. So grab a piece of paper or a notebook like mine and go ahead and draw a line down the middle to make your place value chart game board. You're going to label it ones on this side and tens on the other side. Now it's time to collect your game pieces. You could use beans, you could use Cheerios, you could use rocks or blocks if you have them. I have these at home so I'm just using these and you're going to want to make them two different colors. They don't have to be red and green. You can make them any two different colors. And then what you want to do is gather four of one color. Those will represent your tens. And that means we have 10, 20, 30, 40. And then you're going to need a bunch of the other colors. And you start with the 40. And this is a race to zero. So you have to race somebody in your house, or you could even play this by yourself if you want, to see how fast you can get 40 down to zero. To do this, you're going to need a number cube. I found mine from my Monopoly game. If you can't find one in your house, you could make one. I took some little pieces of paper to make my numbers all the way up to six and I threw them into a hat or a basket or a jar and I just kind of picked one out of there to see what I got. Then I threw it back in there. I picked another one to see what I got. And then the next time I picked something, I got like a four. So you can use that instead of a number cube if you'd like. So here's how you start the game. One person goes first. You go ahead and roll. And you've got, I've got a five. Now I need to take away five ones. Because these are not tens here. These are ones, okay? So I can't. Because I don't have any ones. Do you have any idea where I'm going to get my ones from? This one? I think you've got the right idea. This one is technically a 10. So what I could do is I could trade this one 10 into 10 ones. So I'm going to go ahead and trade it. I'm going to give it to my little pillow here. Two, four six, eight, ten. And this is also called regrouping. So I am regrouping my ten into ones. All right. So I still have 40, okay? I still didn't take away anything. I still have 10, 20, 30, and 40. Now I can take away the five that I rolled. I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five off mine. And now it's your partner's turn, or you can play again if you're playing by yourself. So the next person to go is going to roll a two. All right. So now their chart, they have to make their own chart, whoever rolled the two. And also they have to have four tens, and then they have to regroup to get the four off of their ones. But I'm going to play by myself today, so this is what it looks like. I rolled again, and I got a two. So I look in my ones place because these are two ones and I do have enough. I have enough to take away two. So here are my two. I'm going to take it away and now I have 33 left. I'm racing to zero though so I don't have zero yet. I have 33. I'm going to go again. Yes! I got a big one. Five. Oh dear. I've only got three, 
I don't have five ones. What should I do? I think I heard you guys tell me that I should probably regroup. All right, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go to my bank over here and exchange it for 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, boy, I'm so glad I had enough. So let's see what I got here. I had three in the beginning, but I just put 10 more over here because I exchanged my red 10 cube. And now I have 10 over here. So I actually have 13 ones, and that's okay. That's okay because I need, I need more ones. I can't take away my, my five. Remember I rolled a five? I can't take five away if I don't have enough. So I have to regroup. Now I have 13. I definitely have enough. And don't worry because I can take away the 5 and look what happens. I won't have a 10 anymore. If I take away 5 and see what I have. I have 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8. So it's okay to have 8 in the 1's place, isn't it? Alright, I'm going to play one more time before I let you go to start your own game. <gasps> I rolled a 6. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness I have enough. Look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I get to take that away, and I am getting closer to zero. Now I just have 22 left. All right? So I want you guys to keep on rolling until you get to zero. And don't forget, if you don't have enough, like this, I don't have three ones, don't forget to go to the bank and exchange this for 10 ones. So you are now ready to go make your own game board and play Race to Zero. And then I'll meet you in the Zoom room for math time at 10.15. You don't have to do any workbook pages today. You just play this game and join me in the class so we can talk about how it went. Enjoy!